Our very own piece of secluded paradise. Ridiculously secluded. The drive wasn't that long. It was hours. Hey, you're off the clock now. Time is irrelevant. Well, I'm happy to waste some time once I've sent off a few emails. Yes. Uh, perhaps I should point out there is no phone or internet connection here. Why not? Because I didn't want you sending emails the entire 24 hours. OK. Well, I'll get the employee contracts finished. Hey, this getaway is for two. Your laptop is not invited. All right. What else do you have planned for me tonight? Dinner, then a little more paradise. So how long will dinner take? An hour, Max. It's all in the hamper. Just give me some time to work my magic. Tell you what, I'll do the contracts while you work your magic, and as soon as the food's on the table, the laptop's gone. Until we leave. You got it. Ready to work some miracles, Doctor? It's focus, eh? Long, hard surgery ahead. I could really do without stuff-ups right off the bat. What's wrong? This is Chris's layout, not mine. So sorry, I thought Chris was still leading this one. Hmm. Sorry to disappoint, but you're counting on a short day. Some more cars to wash. Chill out, it's an easy fix. Isaac, time for a spot quiz. As well as the lymph nodes in the tumour, you will be removing what today? The heat of the humerus. Good. Now take your insecurities out in the cancer and not the scrub nurse. I'm being a bit of a tyrant, am I? Your team are looking to you to lead the charge. If you're uptight, they're uptight. And stress cadets make mistakes. Exactly. Just focus purely on each stage. As it comes up, you'll be finished before you know it. Thanks, mate. Nicole, I shouldn't have bit your head off. Oh, it still appears to be attached. Good. Now, let's work some of those miracles you mentioned. Ready when you are, Doctor. No, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Tracy is just a little bit of nausea and a headache, that's all. <laughs> Even workaholics are allowed a case of man flu every now and then. Uh, babe, I've got to go, there's someone at the door. You too. Bye. Hi. What are you doing here, Penny? I heard from Maya you weren't feeling very well. Big mouth. People are worried about you, which is why I made you this. I call it the Bug Blaster. Orange and lemon juice for the immune system and ginger for the tummy. How'd you know I had an upset stomach? I never told Maya that. Oh, I believe everyone should have ginger on a regular basis, not just when they're sick. You really didn't need to do this. Oh, it's no effort at all. Honestly, team this up with some paracetamol and you'll be back in the game in no time. Sarah just gave me some sleeping pills and I had a paracetamol about an hour ago. Did she tell you what you've got? No, but hopefully the tests will show that. Tests? Poor you. Drown your sorrows in a glass of this. Well, I really don't feel that thirsty. How about I just pop it in the fridge for later? As long as you promise you'll have some. It's really good stuff. I'll take your word for it. I'd better let you get some rest then. Cheers. Thanks for your concern. I'm beginning to think you memorised that DVD last night. I watched it five more times. <laughs> now sever the blood supply to the subscapularis muscles, preserving the suprascapular, axillary and lateral pectoral nerves. Don't think about anything else. Just pass the diathermy gently between the glenoid and the humerus. Piece of cake. Here goes. Smoothly done. I'm gonna patch on you, boss. Oh, you're getting there. Yes. Sure. Dr. Warner? Yep. When did she start displaying symptoms? I'll be there soon. Thank you. You'll be where soon? Not sure. We might have a case of Clostridium difficile on the ward. Well, can someone else handle it? I kind of need you here. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other and give me a call if you had any problems. Onwards. Onwards.
are you doing here? I remembered I need to check something with Mrs. Manda. Mrs. Manda has gone home. When was she discharged? Two days ago, you gave her her discharge papers. All oh, right. My mistake. I'll tear it off then. Sorry. No worries. How are you getting home? I'm a complete invalid. I'm not stressing you out, but you're clearly shaky on it. Sarah's on the ward following up a patient. I'll go grab her. No, don't. She's busy. No, you need a thorough checkup. Hold on one second. Actually, you look like you just need to lie down. Oh, Maya's fussing. You don't have to wait. I could give you a lift home. I'm on a break. I can get a taxi home. Oh, I'll manage. You'll manage to put your car in a ditch. Oh, yeah, you might be right. <sighs> Thanks. You don't have to thank me. It's my pleasure. Stay in this all day. Said by someone who was really starting to relax, yes? Yes. New one. I needed a break, so thank you. You're welcome. Do you want first shower? You go. I've got a date with the couch and my book. You're starting to get the hang of this. Unless, of course, you'd like to join me in the shower alone. It's not what it looks like. Please explain yourself. I was going to play relaxing mood music and read an e-chiclet on my phone. Are you buying that? Not for a second. Now move away from the work things and keep your hands where I can see them. I only need to make one call, fastest ever. Who and why? The Deputy Director General of the Ministry of Health. We need to finalise funding for the restructure. Not good enough. Let's just get real for a minute. This is for the hospital, for our master plan. Which isn't going to fall apart in one day. What are you doing? Only what you are forcing me to do. Now you're just being silly. Give it here. Have it your way. One phone as requested. Enjoy your book. <laughs> <laughs> 